Welcome to the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Welcome to the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Listen, you guys, we have a great show for you today. It's going to impact your world, and I want it to impact your world. So I say that, it's going to impact your world. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about something that it means a lot for me to share it with you. And I also wanted to be in agreement with it. But the title is called The Power of Two. Now, if you follow me on my social media account, you know that I have been posting a lot of things, the power of agreement. And I want to go into a little bit more in detail about that because I truly it will, I believe it's going to save your life. It's going to save your life in the perspective of you being highlighted if you're not already highlighted about the importance of walking in agreement, walking in the power of two, okay? But first, we're gonna dive into this discussion right after this message. It's gonna be a video, it's going to inspire you, and I want you to come right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> I am confused. Being philosophically consistent and being a very honest person, I'm sure you can tell me where God came from. Your question, where did God come from, assumes that you're thinking of the wrong, uh, obviously it displays that you're thinking of the wrong God. <laughs> because the God of the Bible d is not affected by time, space, or matter. If he's, if he's affected by time, space, or matter, he's not God. Time, space, and matter is what we call a continuum. All of them have to come into existence at the same instant. Because if there were matter but no space, where would you put it? If there were matter and space but no time, when would you put it? You cannot have time, space, or matter independently. They have to come into existence simultaneously. The Bible answers that in ten words. In the beginning, there's time. God created the heaven, there's space, and the earth, there's matter. So you have time, space, matter created, a trinity of trinities there. Just, you know, time is past, present, future. Space has length, width, height. Matter has solid, liquid, gas. You have a trinity of trinities created instantaneously. And the God who created them has to be outside of them. If he's limited by time, he's not God. The God who created this universe is outside of the universe. He's above it, beyond it, in it, through it. He's, he's unaffected by it. So your, your, your question, where did God come from, is assuming a limited God. And that's your problem. The God that I worship is not limited by time, space, or matter. If I could fit the infinite God in my three-pound brain, he would not be worth worshiping, that's for certain. So that's the God that I worship. Thank you. Welcome back to the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Listen again, our show is called The Power of Two. I want to dive into the discussion, but first let me share with you a story. Um, the reason why I want to talk to you about the impactful, um, just impactful way of walking into side by side in agreement, okay? Um, now, when I was 12, uh, at the time, my parents bought five acres of property, okay? And my dad and my mother was building the house. They were, had a contractor to build a house. But at the time, the economy in the 80s was pretty much like the economy now, we were having financial difficulties. Uh, at the time, Ford Motor Company laid my father off from work. Now, all this information is in the book, so I'm not giving you secrets about my family. It's in the book called The Journey. Now, at the time, my dad was about to build a house and have a contractor to do it. The finances had to be shut down, so he had to do it himself. And, um, and at the time, when all of this is happening, my parents, we were living in two different places, paying rent in two different places. They sold their house, we had to move into an apartment, and at the same time, he was building a home. So he was paying two mortgages at the same, one rent and then a mortgage. Well, that had to end quickly, because as I stated, the uh, financial situation in the 1980s was terrible. Okay? And that was not a wise thing to do, to have the money stretch for living conditions. But at the time, my dad had to make a decision. He had to make a decision in doing it himself, laying the foundation, clearing out all the debris from the land to level the land so they can begin to pour concrete on the property. Well, when this was happening, my dad's friends 
I believe maybe about four of them came over to help my dad to assemble the land so that it will be even and leveled so they can lay the concrete. And as anybody know anything about building things, the foundation of the structure has to be perfect. It cannot be uneven at any uh, local point from left to right, back, and to the left and right and to the back. Everything has to be leveled. Um, so this was happening with my dad. So they finally cleared out all the dirt. They leveled the, they leveled the ground and they began to pour the concrete on this particular day. They finished pouring the concrete. And as you know, when you build it, the concrete also has to be perfect. The measurements, the water, the conditions has to be perfect. This was happening. They finally laid it. And at the time when they finished complete laying this, and they're doing this manually, there's no one is, you know how we have these big trucks and they just lay the concrete? No, there was no money for all that. So they had to do it manually, okay? Once they finished, they looked up at the sky and the clouds are gray and it was getting darker. My mother comes out of the house and there was a mount of dirt. There's nothing spiritual about it. It was just a mount of dirt from them clearing the land. So my mother stood on the mount of dirt and she began to pray. Now I'm visually seeing this. The men are out there on the land, finished looking at the concrete. We all looking at the sky. Sky is gray. My mother's on that mount praying to the God. I don't remember if there was a particular scriptures for those who are in the religious community. My mother began to talk to God on that mount. She said, Lord, please do not allow rain to fall. Because anyone that knows when they build and concrete is poured, you cannot have rain. It would damage your work that you just done. My mother was praying and praying and praying. I'm out looking at everyone at 12 years old and the clouds began to get darker. All of a sudden I saw one drop land on my mother's nose. How I saw it? Because I was close enough to see the water dripping from the sky. She began to pray a little bit harder because she knew what that meant, that it was beginning to rain, okay? All of a sudden, maybe five minutes later, the rain began to pour. Now I wanna to talk to you about this. The rain began to pour, not on the land, but all around the street. The way our house was built, there was two separate streets, one on the right side of the street, it was another name in a, the driveway. It was another name. It was, all, it was almost in a triangle type land and the house was like in the middle of the acres of land. And it began to pour and pour and pour. And we saw the rain pouring and it went around the property. It never touched our ground. Everyone stopped, looked up at the sky, looked at the street. We're all doing this looking at the rain. I'm 12 years old looking at a miracle of God in prayer. Now I wanna to talk to you all about that whole scenario and I wanna dive into to talk to you about those who feel like they don't have a companion of two and two, but you do, okay? Now at 12 years old, I witnessed that. I never forgot it. I also put it in the book because I wanted to share it with everyone out there who feel like they don't have anyone that can walk with them through their life to accomplish anything, because you do. With that miracle happened, I would never forget that I will always be faithful in the fact that that could happen because I witnessed it with my parents. Now, I wanna to talk to you about walking into and the agreement of it. It wasn't just the experience that I uh, saw at 12 years old, seeing the witness of two people in agreement and a multitude of people in agreement. It wasn't just my mother and father in agreement. It was the man that was helping my dad trying to accomplish the house that he was trying to build. There was several agreements there. But I wanna talk about the agreement that you have in your life. Now, there are many people out there who is married and they're having difficulties. They're having divisions, they're having arguments. You're having divisions and you're having arguments because what is your plan for your marriage? What is the ultimate plan for your marriage? Did you have a plan when you, get, when you got married? 
Find that out because that may be a way to disengage the arguments and the disagreement. Because if you have a plan for your life and your future and your family, then you can come into an agreement with that plan. Now, I'm, this is not a marriage council uh, discussion today, but this is something that I want you to think about, that you have the empowerment of two people being married. And it can dispel all of the other things if you find out what is the purpose of your marriage. Because everyone who gets married has a purpose has a purpose, whether you're bringing in children and they have a purpose. But there is something there that you can dispel all the things that's going on in your life if you're coming together as two people in agreement because it's explosive. It could be explosive if you understood the whole meaning of the reason why you came together. Now, there always, there always are exceptions, okay? But the agreement and the empowerment of two people coming together, that means the information that you know, uh, when one person is reading, you read. When per one person is learning about something, you ask questions about what your person that you're walking in agreement with. Because you want to make sure that you have a heart, a mind, spirit, information, knowledge, um, and agreement. You have some kind of enlightenment of what the counterpart is reading and studying and what are they doing in their life so that you can continue with that agreement. Like I stated, when two people are in agreement, it's explosive. It could dispel all the things that's trying to come and bring a division. Now, companies, they are aware of the agreement. When you come into the company, they have a vision statement, they have a brand, they have a, have a representation. Uh, I've worked in many different corporations and they all talk about, you represent the company. And when I realized that today, when I was doing this show, uh, I realized the impactful thing that happens when you come in an agreement for a particular cause. Now, I don't wanna go into the corporate America uh, and jobs when you have divisions, because that's a whole nother show, which I may talk about what happens in that uh, perspective, but I wanna talk about you and the power and agreement. Now, if you have someone in your life, like a best friend, and you are inseparable, you most likely have a power of agreement because both of you are wanting each other to win. You don't have any kind of narrative that is dark in your heart. You don't want them to win. There's jealousy and envy kind of thing. Uh, you want someone who's always for you, even when you're doing things and they they address that particular thing that causes division between you and her because uh, you and him, because there is a division, they can sense it. Uh, Listen, you guys, I really want to dive into this. So many things that's going on in my head that I want to talk to you right now about because our nation right now is in chaos, division. People are dying early. People are coming against each other and disagreement and all of that. But if you can find someone in your life, in your your sender, your sender surrounding area in agreement, you can get through with our nation being divided. If that's so many, if I have, if I have explained that, even though everybody else is in chaos, but you can come in agreement with someone in your life and you can just kind of walk through all the chaos. You know, I call it the walk through the jungle. You're on the left side and on the right side, there's a jungle and people are fighting and animals are fighting but you're walking on that pathway and it's just as peaceful and because you are in agreement with it. You are in agreement with whoever you're walking with. It is so powerful. It is so productive. It is so, it's energizing. You stand together in agreement walking, okay? So what about the people who don't have another human being to walk with, walk with them? You have you have your father, the God that you serve. I want to talk to you about that because uh, I come into my life and I have friends sometimes and I can walk in agreement and then there's times I'm by myself. But one day I found this one passage and I want to read it to you because um, 
this is going to change your viewpoint of how you are seeing yourself by yourself. And those who are dealing with uh, father issues, your father was not there. Um, your mother was not there. You don't have any family left. Uh, they all passed away or anything. And you're feeling so lonely. You're feeling like you don't have anyone. But I want you to, I want to share this with you because this is going to impact you. This is Proverbs 8. And I talk about Proverbs all the time. There's so much in Proverbs, but there's a part that it says Proverbs 8, 22. Let me get it right here. I got my other phone. And it says, Proverbs 8, 22. It says, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. You know who he talking about? He possessed me. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, the inward witness that lives in you. He possessed him at the beginning of his way. Okay, it says, <clears throat> in 23, it says, I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or even the earth was, when there was no depth, okay? I was brought forth, <clears throat> when there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I was brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, okay? Now this is the part right here I want you to hear. It says, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthens the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandments when he appointed the foundations of the of the earth now the holy spirit was before he was there with him that's the power of two he he didn't do anything until he possessed him at the beginning of his way and the person that he possessed him at the beginning of his way lives in you let me go on down where it says that this is the part that I want to talk to you about, to confirm that he lives with you. I hope I can find it as quick as I can. Uh. Oh, here it is. This is the part that confirms that he lives with you. He says, when he get, okay, he says, 30, 8, 3, 8, 30, it says, then I was by him as one brought up with him. He's talking about mankind. And I was daily his delight. He's talking about us. He says the Holy, the inward witness was daily his delight. Rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his, in the inhabited part of his earth and my delight this is what the holy spirit is saying and my delight were with the sons of men now for all those who feel like that you are alone you're not because he just confirmed it in proverbs 8 31 okay so you too can walk in the empower empowerment of the agreement in fact you know the ones who don't have a physical person to walk in agreement with and they have the inward witness and you recognize that you have it we actually have you know he was there before the foundation of the world he was there before the creation of the world he was there with all that knowledge and understanding that would help guide you when i talk about that the holy spirit was with man and he's with you, those who do not have another companion to walk with you. Not to say that you're not gonna have one in the future, but you have one right now. Um, and he knows all things and he is delighted to walk with you, okay? It confirms that, you guys go and read Proverbs 8. It is so empowering for those who are feeling alone, for those who are dealing with depression and suicidal thoughts because you feel like that you are not wanted. I've been there. I've been there. And when I go back and read that and I realize I'm not walking alone, the Holy Spirit or the inward witness is delighted to walk with me. 
And when I calm myself and at peace, he begins to speak, speak life to me. You know, people can be like a yo-yo in and out only because they are probably going through a lot of things too. But I want you, those who are out there feel like that you do not have anyone, whether your family has passed away or whether people have pushed you out of the way, you're never alone. You always have someone confirmed and excited to be with you. No matter how despicable your life is, have come about, you have the power of two. There's no one do not have the power to, but I wanted to bring that and just mention that to you. You have the power of two. You have the power of agreement and it can dispel anything. Once you come, once you are able to realize that and you can come into an agreement and he's starting to speak to you, anything that dispels anything that comes against your life, he will let you know that's going to uh, divide us when we want to stay together. I wanted to talk to you all about that because right now our nation is going through a lot of deceptive things. People are just speaking and they don't have the confirmation of what they're speaking may be the absolute truth. As Proverbs 8 talked about, he was there before the creation of the earth. He understands what the decree of truth is and you want to walk in the decree of truth. Um, a lot of times you don't want to get caught off guard and listen to someone that seemed to be telling the truth. There's only one that tells the truth and he brings life. Um, but I wanted to discuss a little bit more about the power of two and walking in agreement. And, uh, and you're not left alone because you don't have friends, you're not married, you don't have children, but you have the inward witness. So you're not set, alone, you're not set aside where you're not walking in the power of agreement. And, uh, and don't get offended when people don't want to walk with you. I know it's very difficult. It's very difficult to accept that because you want to have friends. But sometimes he protects you because he's one with you. And he already know the heart of man. So the power of two is with everyone, whether you are married and have a significant other, or you have a best friend, or you have the inward spirit okay the power of two walking in agreement is powerful you can get a lot of things accomplished and sometimes i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's better to walk in the power of two in a power of agreement with the inward witness because whether whether you realize it or not you know that he's not gonna walk in untruth he's not gonna walk in a way that it thinks negative of you at any time. So sometimes walking with the Holy Spirit or with your inward witness is the best thing that you can possibly do. Um, because sometimes when people are going through things, they may have like a, a inkling like, you don't know what you're talking about, you know, because they're going through a lot of stresses. But if you can bring in the understanding that the inward witness, when you're starting to think, well, I want to do this. I want to, how can that accomplish? Because you pretty much can do all things if it's good to do all things, if you want to accomplish in this world. Um, the inward witness will let you know, this is not part of your course. If you would like to have it a part of your course, he will bring you to a place of understanding. Uh, I did want to share with you, I remember an incident I was uh, taking a entrepreneur class, okay? And, uh, and I was learning how to start a business and entrepreneur principles and just understanding the structure of a business. And, uh, and one day my, my spirit started to get a little irritated and I couldn't understand why. And the Holy Spirit told me to turn around. And the teacher, uh, there was a husband and wife teaching this class. And the wife and the assistants that she had, they were all over there just talking about me so bad. Yeah, I'm telling y'all this is the truth. I'm gonna start telling the real truth in my podcast <laughs> because it's gonna help a lot of you uh, to be healed from disparity. <laughs> and uh, so after that, I turned around and I said, oh my goodness, that's where it's coming from, right? So the Holy Spirit, you know what he told me? He says, don't say anything else in this class. I want you to just listen. 
I want you to listen, understand it, understand what they're talking about. I want you to go home and do your homework. He's telling me to do this. He says, don't say anything else in this class. He said, but I want you to learn. You know why he told me he want me to learn? Because the information that I was pulling from this class, he's able to communicate with me with that information. So a lot of times we get mad at people, but don't get mad, just don't say nothing and still learn from that information because the Holy Spirit can use it somewhere else down the line where the conditions in the atmosphere is not uh, divided and causing your spirit to be irritated. Yes, they were wrong for doing that, um, but I didn't even thought about it. When the Holy Spirit just kind of spoke with me about don't say anything else in this classroom, but I want you to stay in this room and I want you to learn everything that the teachers are teaching you, everything that the assistants are assisting you in the grading of the material. He wanted me to consume all of that information because once I consumed all that information, then he can speak to that knowledge with me and I will be able to understand exactly what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do. Go get a business license. This is the name that I want you to have. Um, you have to, uh, you have to uh, pay for uh, swearing in for your EIN number. You have to understand how to patent your uh, product. You have to understand how to trademark your product. All of this information the Holy Spirit is teaching me when I was opening up Confident Promises and all of these things. So the power of agreement with the inward witness was there. The power of agreement with the witness was there when the people were talking about me because it dispelled all of their information, all the gossip and all the... Uh, I, I don't know what they were saying because the Holy Spirit doesn't allow me to hear things that does not benefit me. The reason why I wanted to share that with you is because those who do not have another person with you, a, a mentor, a human mentor, the Holy Spirit can be your mentor, okay? So do not, whatever you do, get upset about people. Do not want you around. Talk about you. Uh, because there is information that you can consume there that will benefit you in the future, okay? Um, there's so many things that I want to talk to you all about today, but I don't want this podcast to be uh, long. I want you to just get the point of walking in agreement while we go through this, uh, some people say travail in the land. I don't know if it's travail or not. I just think, I don't know what I think. I, I'm not even trying to figure out what it is. I just have to stay within the one who is staying with me in an agreement. And if you have a person in your life, find out where you can come into an agreement with, where there is no negative or darkness or anything that would dispel and cause your relationship to be distracted. Now, every part and facet of your life do not have to be in agreement with somebody else. But if there's a part in your life that you can come in an agreement with, you want to come in agreement with. If you are raising your children together, come in an agreement with that. Learn about everything about that. If you're trying to start a business, come in an agreement with that portion of your life because it, it could dispel all the other stuff. If you are trying to, if you have never bought a house, neither one of you, and you want to buy a house, Coming into an agreement with that. Go to the classes and learn together. It will cause your wanting to buy a house a little bit more progressive and you both going to get one. If you are trying to buy whatever or trying to change the way you think, coming into an agreement in that field of area because it'll dispel everything and you can walk through that, that pathway together and uh, it won't be so painful, okay? But two people in agreement is powerful. And I want you to think about that today by listening to this podcast. It may not be the most exciting podcast. It may not be the most exciting discussion for you today, but I want you to really think about the power of two, the power of agreement. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your entire life. It can be one particular area in your life having that agreement so that you two can walk together and expound to the end of that path with the harvest. That is what I wanted to get to you into your heart today because it can be 
in a powerful way that we can get through this end of the year and you still have your joy and you still have your light and you still have your personality but you will have exactly what you two in agreement is trying to get because I want to tell you something that house that my parents lived in that my dad built we lived there for 26 years okay they got it done we got it finished and there's a harvest I'm gonna share a couple of videos excuse me a couple of photos of that scenario but pick up a copy of the book so you can get the details of that story of the journey I will add it in the description but it will bring the light to your heart where you are trying to accomplish with the power of two you're going to get it because I've seen it I witnessed it and I am definitely a faith believing person that it could happen for you as well this is the end of our show. I hope you enjoyed our discussion today. It's a very powerful one. It's a very important one. I want everyone to get whatever it is that you're trying to get. You don't have to share it with me, but you know in your heart, because who in this life live without hope? If you have no hope, that's not good. We got to get back hope if you don't have any hope. Hope is what makes us live to wake up every day. Take another step. But, um, you are dying and dying spiritually and your hope is despairing pick a copy of the of the journey by Sonia Buchanan which is me and uh, so we can get hope back into you because we need you in this world um, we need you in this world we need you in this world to accomplish your desires okay listen you guys this is the end uh, this is your girl Sonia Buchanan where we inspire one life one smile at a time and I want you guys to have a great week. See you next week. Bye. Oh my God, I gotta tell you, I was having a moment and I decided to stare off the net. And that's when I came across this website called Comforting Promises, which is a great website, by the way. And get this. On the website was a featured book called The Journey by Sonia Buchanan that was recently published. So I immediately downloaded the ebook on Kindle because it talked about, you know, having faith for your life purpose. And let me tell you, the book is super great. I was so motivated to get back into the game pursuing my goals. And you got to get the book because it's worth the read. Thank you for joining our podcast today. The podcast was produced and edited by Sonia Buchanan. For more information about the host, you can go to sonbuchanan.com. For information about Comfort and Promises broadcast community, you can go to comfortandpromises.com.